Time to go to Rannoch, everyone. I, I'm really nervous about how this is going to go, but... Tali and Legion are here. We're going to need to try and resolve this whole situation with the Geth. And the Quarians get rid of the Reaper presence. Hello, private. So we're here in the Perseus Vale, we're heading down. I guess the question is, I suppose, who am I going to take? I don't know. I've taken the R so many times, I don't know. Let me refresh. The Reaper base controlling the Geth has been located, but jamming towers prevent conventional orbital bombardment, landing on Rannoch and using a prototype targeting laser to enable the Normandy to destroy the Reaper base. So it's, is, it is, is this actually fully full-on Reaper tech? Because if this is Reaper tech, then we should probably take old Javis. <laughs> old Vicky. Chaffing. Um So it might be nice, you know. I've not taken Javik out for for a little while. Uh, oh, I can't view the squad from here, can I? Foolish. Right. I'm just going to remind myself what weapons he uses. He uses a pistol in one hand. Uh what else does he use? Oh, he uses an assault rifle and a pistol. Right. I might, just because I like that armor, I might use that for this next one. So I could upgrade the Geth particle rifle for him, right? But he has that unique weapon, doesn't he? Or we could give him the Geth pistol as well, right? So... Um, where is it? That That is his rifle. So I think we'll leave him with that. And we'll just upgrade it to level 5 because that's, you know, unique to him. And he's probably just going to be using that most of the time anyway. So, um, I'll be using the Phalanx. Oh no, I won't. I'm going to be using uh, the Geth Pistol. Because we're fighting Geth, so. We'll upgrade the Particle Rifle. And then we should probably find a nice shotgun for Tali, because we've not even leveled up any of these to level 5. Oh wait, does he have a shotgun? I can't remember. This is the Asari shotgun. Maybe we should, maybe we give this. I've not, I know I've not tested it. Originally handcrafted for the exclusive use of just a cars, the Disciple shotgun schematics were finally released to Asari commandos after centuries of negotiation. The Disciple uses shells packed with micro-scale sub-munitions to deal staggering amounts of damage. Even shielded enemies are stunned by the force of the blast from this weapon. You know what? This is pretty cool, so I'm going to upgrade the Disciple and give it to Tali. I don't know how it works. I'm never going to be using it. Could get a little pricey. But, um, Liara can't use it. We're rarely going to be bringing uh, James out on missions. We've got a ton of cash until we buy one of those really expensive weapons. It's still not doing a ton of damage, but that knockback could prove pretty important. Alright, I'm, I'm happy with that. We're going to be using powers mostly anyway. Right, right, right. That's enough stalling, Matt. This happens when I'm nervous. Breathe. Don't breathe air down the microphone, Matt. 
That's why it's at an off angle, so that I don't do that. <laughs> Reduce the plosives. Yep, disciple, disciple, disciple. Oh, we're going to have to do a load of upgrading to, to Vicky, aren't we? Oh, God. We're going to oh, Tal okay, Tali's a... Uh, we can't, we can't get rid of her. All right, Javik. Yeah, we'll do, I'll, I'll maybe bring Garrus on the next one. Let's do that, oh, I thought it crashed. Right, so yeah, Arc Pistol, Hornet for us. Tali, I'm gonna give you a Disciple. Hey, you can take the arc pistol as well. I've not put any mods on it. Okay, accuracy, damage, melee, pierce. I don't know if using both of these is does is a de is detrimental in any way, but. Okay, no. Let's just do that. Damage buff. And pierce. And uh, Vickers. You've got your particle rifle, the pierce, and we got a heavy damp pen. He's not really doing a lot of melee, so let's just take the increased damage because this does pretty minimal damage. Actually, you know that that damage increase is pretty low considering it's pretty low damage already, but that accuracy increase is more significant so um he's going to be using his particle rifle most of the time anyway so uh we'll give him the acolyte just to be awkward to buff his powers Yep, I'm happy with that. Right, <laughs> that's how long I've not taken him out for. Um, vengeful Agent, level 6, increased squad mate power damage duration and force, shield recharge speed. That is universally useful, right? Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Now this lift grenade will be pretty useful. Because uh, it, it's like a lift basically damage imp impact radius i think is 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 better here because it's like liara's power right uh slam floating targets to the ground as lift wears off stunning them for three seconds increased damage and impact radius um i like the extra radius i, I really do yeah power duration what an extra two seconds that's pretty good um, I like this. I like this a lot. I don't know. We tend to kill them in the air, though, right? So. Yeah, let's go for damage and radius. No, let's go for slam. Let's go for slam. And then we can stick a few points into into pull. Yank them off the ground. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Tali's got four points that we can put into energy drain, I guess. Increase damage and or impact radius.
The damage increase is minimal, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm really nervous. Am I recording, please? The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. No, I understand. I understand. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about the upgrades. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server, but this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help your people. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? <sighs> the Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. <laughs> yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion, good luck. Acknowledged. Maybe I should have brought Edie, I don't know. Crap, I should have brought Edie. I can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. They used to write poems about them. Hopefully they will do again, Tali. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ranok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window will be right here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much, but when this is over, I'll have a home. Quarian spent centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. Well, that's a start. <laughs> oh dear. How is this going to go, dude? Okay, we're right in here. Lee, get out there, mate. Oh. 
Got you. We're on our way. Admiral Garrel here. The heavy fleet has a clear path. All forward. Get fighter presence is negligible. Patrol fleet, break cover and engage. Man, they're going to full on war here. Whoa! Wait, are you an evil one? Did I just shoot Ava? I'm so sorry, Ava. Because <laughs> they do have drones, right? I'm not making that up. Um, neither of you have got special ammo, have you? No. Yeah, maybe I should have brought Edie, but I just because it was a Reaper base, it just felt right to bring Javik. Nice. Anything over here? Nice. Okay. Excuse me, Tali. Platforming. <laughs> it is done. is just wrecking everybody. I just hit Ava again. Bill is just killing everyone. Can we pat Bill? Good job, Bill, mate. Good job. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay. Hostile gas are closing a blast shield over the base. Nice, that pays for those shotgun upgrades. Your ship's gone? Not an option. The Geth would scramble a defense before we broke through. Anyone get a good look at that thing? Briefly, but enough to know it's Reaper technology. Nice. They've put a lot of work into protecting that signal. Right. Let's blow it up. Was that black and gold? Yeah, we, we're so coordinated, guys. We're so coordinated. I love, I love it. Oh, 
No, 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 that's not what I meant. to use sabotage more. your status. Field machines upgrade ranges targeting superiority. We are drawing hostile fire from your position. Keep it up. We'll get to the blast shield controls. Your nice. synthetic allies using Reaper code. That's a mistake. No. Legion's on our side. Well Never said. thought I'd hear you say that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she would have said something different, right? If things would have gone differently. So much cash. Oh man. It's Dika. It's all right. <laughs> okay, no resistance. Really? Really? Oh, my body's like keep missing. Do it. Legion, I've hit the override. We have gained system access and are bypassing security. Stand by.
Oh, what did I do that for? Have they got a shield generator? Wow, that was intense. Oh. You getting anything from the base? No. The old machines have not registered us as a threat. They will regret that. We recommend haste. The creator fleet will be overrun unless you suffer the Geth connection to the old machine soon. This battle was centuries in the making. To see it finally end. Okay. Here it is, man. Look at that view. Hand on the mouse in case we have to interrupt. Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. What? What do you want me to do? Believe in you, Legion. Like that's going to do anything.
Hit it. What we hit? The firing chamber looks like a weak point when it's priming. Damn it. The charming towers have us targeting manually. We can't make a precision shot. We may escape before it recovers. No. Pull over. <laughs> Really? If we run away, the Geth stand a Reaper control and the Quarians are dead. This ends now. Edie, patch the Quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander. Good luck. Thanks, Acknowledged. <laughs> Shepherd to fleet. I'll paint the weak spot. Link up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. Oh, what in the hell? The destroyer is in range. Missiles are ready for launch. Shepard, we need a target. Find us a target and we'll lose the fleet. I'm, I'm, Can't I'm... Take much Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Just... Okay, I've, I've got very little idea what I'm supposed to do. Target the thing? Okay, when the weak spot is open. What the f <laughs> Have I got to target it when that thing is... Sorry guys. Does the uh, does the aim that we that we get on it stay, and then I just run? Right. Okay.
No way. You know who I am? Harbinger speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The cycle must continue. Well, what aren't we understanding then, buddy? What are you talking about? We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is not a thing you can comprehend. Uh, try me. We might surprise you. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. It is inevitable. You're killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. Finish your war. We will be waiting. We did it. We killed a Reaper. Kila. We can confirm that the Geth are no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth free to stop firing. What? They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? No. What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, yeah. each Geth unit would be true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Why? Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Come on, Tali. Oh, God, so many things to keep in mind here. We just spoke to another Reaper, finally. I mean, we've come this far, dude. I mean, there's living proof that... I mean, so basically, if, if we give each individual Geth unit free will, there's no guarantee that every single one of them will be peaceful, right? Because if they're each individuals, then individuals can be bad, warmongering, violent, whatever. So a Geth individual would have just the same kind of chances of being that way in, in some aspects. I know that, that they're synthetic, they have different parameters that they're consciousness is governed by but they still perceive the world right they're not an isolated machine that has no means of you know uh, seeing the outside world hearing the outside world etc but I guess this is a it's, it's kind of a juxtaposition to what the Reaper just said this war is testament that they can't work together and maybe it'll always be that way and maybe we have to kill the Geth. Because there are organics and there are synthetics. There's not consciousness as a universal concept. They're fundamentally different creatures that have absolutely nothing in common. Maybe that's the angle the game wants us to believe. Maybe that's the angle that the Reapers want us to believe, I guess. I mean, he's talking... I mean, I, the Reaper was talking about the cycle again. And I've been saying this all along that... The Reapers are doing this because I think they're trying to preserve the galaxy. I don't know what he said about preserving organic life. So, but I thought it was more a case of stopping the like the galaxy from being, you know, everything being used up, all the fuel, all the resources, everything being used up. But I guess like 
the potential for expansion and reproduction and kind of, is kind of exponential with organic races. So every, every you know, if you look at what happened to uh, the Drell, as like a, a microcosm of what's going to happen to the entire Milky Way, then you can see the. You can see the point of the of, of wanting to do a cycle like this, but it just seems like there must be another way, right? I think you've got a. I, I don't want to commit genocide against the Geth because that's what this would be. This would be like planet-wide, planet-scale genocide. I think you guys know that I'm probably going to pick upload the codes of the Quarians of. The Quarians have had so many opportunities throughout their history. And, yeah, to, to deal with this situation differently. They lost their planet because they tried to fight it. Do you know what I mean? They've had so many opportunities to try and show. And, uh, you know, and, and fair enough what they said about we're in a similar position now where Earth is occupied by sentient machines and we're trying to kill the Reapers, but the Reapers are, be, are, are started the war. We, we saw when we were in the Geth consensus that the Geth really didn't start any of this. They simply were, their consciousness was born and the Quarians tried to execute them. It really was as simple as that. They didn't resist at first in any kind of violent way. They were just being put down and the Quarians who sympathized them were also put down. So the Quarians at this point are a danger it to, to others and to themselves in a lot of ways, right? They can't be trusted with their own uh, faculties at this point because they've shown signs that they, they like fiddling with the Geth still to this day, right? Tali's father was testament to that. This Admiral Zen is testament to that, that even if, the, even if they eradicate the Geth here today, they'll probably just recreate them in some other form by accident because they can't help themselves. So if we upload the code, we're giving the Geth a chance to exist on their own terms. Quarians are just going to make the same mistakes again if we help them kill the Geth. Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue oh, this attack. idiot again. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. Tali. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. Wait, what? What does this mean? Allow the upload, stop Legion, warn the fleet, or rally the fleet. Rally. Okay. <laughs> rally. <laughs> rally the men. Rally the fleet. What does that literally mean? Because you only ever hear this in like a rally the men before they go to war, right? Because this is a a charm or intimidate option, then doesn't this mean doesn't one of these options mean that it's gonna benefit Legion, right? It's just because rally the fleet makes it sound like I'm rallying the Quarian fleet for an attack. Isn't that what it sounds like? Rally, if you rally someone, does I don't know. Does it does it just mean? rally them uh, like as in to raise their morale or talk to them or something rally the fleet or warn them warn them of what man the non-specific options here are going to kill me but in, this, is, this is like uh, an annoying way to have to think about this, but 
the clearer options are these two. But I, we know from this entire experience across these games that the blue and red options will be the the options that will that result in the probably best outcomes. So we have to ignore these, but even though they're clearer instructions. Because this is a clear, this is a clear distinction between whose side we're taking. This is, this is. I really, I'm really not sure which, what either of these mean. And I'm also worried about a, another check, and because if I was to pick the the renegade option here, the red option even, I don't really have enough points. If there was a second check that had a higher, you know, point threshold or something. That we wouldn't be able to check that. Whereas if we, we pick a, if we pick the blue here, we know that we've got a, enough paragon points to probably meet a second higher threshold check. I'm, I'm kind of stabbing in the dark here, but because allow the upload is in the paragon slot on the right side, I'm gonna have to hope that it, some version of that is on the left. But I mean, whose fleet are we talking about? Are we talking about the Geth fleet or the Corian fleet? Because the Geth fleet is still there, right? right I'm, we're going to have to stab in the dark here, guys. Rally the fleet. No. Nobody else dies today. Okay. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships. This is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Oh Keep my god. Firing. Someone shoot him. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please, kill us a lie. All units, hold fire. Finally. <laughs> Cheeky smile. <laughs> Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. What? Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Oh. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us alive. Oh, come on, dude. Commander! Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped... He did. We've taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Rannoch at Moran with us. <laughs> Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> you 
you, okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. Damn it, Legion. I didn't come here just to recruit you, Tali. I wanted to help. I wasn't going to ask. I think you've earned a few favors with the fleet. I'm asking them to launch an assault on the Reapers. Figure that makes us even. If the Reapers were going to stay on Earth, sure. But sooner or later, they'll come to Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. As long as you're happy to. You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Haystrom. My father. Even Legion. I'm mourning again. How crazy is that? It's not. It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Is she gonna take the mask off? Right now, I have this. Oh, we don't... Oh, really? Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Yeah. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Councillor Udina's office. Oh, the Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. Oh, they keep doing it to me, man. For God's sake. Admiral. Commander, something on your mind? How are we looking? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? Given the situation everywhere else, as close as we can be, you've done well, Shepard. Thanks. He's saying that as if he's, like, <laughs> like, defeated the Reapers before himself. Like, well done, you're almost doing as well as I did. Alright, how's the forces looking? What about the extra help we picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. Uh, I think we've asked all these before, but I'm going to ask again. The Asar I don't think we've asked about the Asari and the Solarians. How about the Asari and Solarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. Uh, I seem to vaguely remember this, but... And the Solarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. Oh, really? I they managed to overlook the genophage <laughs> cure. <laughs> I knew that they'd just come and help when things got bad enough. I'm going to re-ask all these because they, they, they might have updated. Uh, how are the mercenaries doing? What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. Well, The blood pack will be useful and violent. 
Mostly Vorchai. Yeah, we've heard this one, yeah. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narher Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Well, Admiral, I think a lot of people have pictured themselves in bed with Arya to look, so... <laughs> Yes, yeah, so some of these have been updated, right? Because I think the Cesarean Salarians one was here last time, but we hadn't cured the Genophage yet, perhaps. Or we had, but we hadn't gone to the Citadel, so I think that's been updated for that. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. How has the Krogan and Shurian situation progressed? What about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. The Kara. I'm glad you disabled that mom in Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support, as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of that was repeated, except for the Salarian bit. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. Mm. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. Yeah. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Uh, why me? If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn Navy who knows how to kill Reapers. I guess, but it's all been with the right help and the right intelligence, right? You just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Yeah. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You were trapped on a coos all those years ago, and you were the only one to make it out alive. Back then I saw more than just a soldier in the making. Okay, this is a bit more specific to us for once. Uh, and that was all enough to know what kind of leader I'd be. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun, you can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill, but you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care, they went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 Relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Fair enough, mate. Alright, thanks for the update, Admiral. Good luck. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Deliver most of galaxy at war assets though. Okay, that disappeared. Alright guys, uh, another devastating loss, man. <coughs> I can't talk. Um, Legion sacrificed himself for the good of his people. Um, what a great character he was, man. Um, I think with a character like Legion, it, it, there was always a risk of uh, him kind of being an exposition dump. Right, and him just kind of expressing all these concepts that were difficult difficult to get across with any kind of sentiment, right? Um, but he he always felt like there were like there were questions to be answered for him, even though he would talk in with with logical assertions and and so on. There was always the hint that he didn't know it all, and that was what I really liked about Legion. Um, that he was just he was the beginning of a race in its absolute infancy right um, I don't know so it just kind of 
always felt like we needed to take care of him all the time in that way not in like a he, he was hopeless kind of way but in like a he was so wide-eyed in, in, in a lot of ways um, still learning so much so many nuances of of being an intelligent being I guess and yeah it's sad to see him go but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check all this stuff, all the updated stuff, all the war assets, the new missions and everything in the next episode. So, yeah, uh, I was a little thrown off by the, the decision, the, the red and blue decisions, by the, the phrasing of them, but that happens, I guess. So, yeah, uh, we'll pick it up from here next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.